Hi, this is Neil Bradshaw with uh, Uber Pi, maker of the Uber Pi system, Uber Pi Disk. And um, we are going to boot into RetroPie like you would for the very first time. And we're going to configure RetroPie with the controller. We're going to use this style of controller, which a lot of you probably recognize as the Nintendo style, the old Super Nintendo controller. It's made by Retrolink. You can buy this with a USB hookup on uh, Am on uh, probably Amazon. I know you can definitely get it on uh, you can get it on uh, eBay, but all it is is just the controller and then USB. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to remove my dongles a lot of people think that's real funny, but I'm gonna remove my dongles from uh, from my other controllers. I'm just gonna plug this one in to my RetroPie to my uh, my UberPie system, and we're gonna boot up, and we're gonna configure this. And if you noticed on the controller, that it doesn't have it doesn't have buttons right here it has let's let this go ahead and do its thing I'll click on that so it won't actually boot into it automatically it only has these two buttons on the top it doesn't have the triggers it also doesn't have the uh, analog joysticks on it so we have to do something to make this work so I'm going to go to RetroPie and go to boot. Okay, so it knows there's one game pad. So I'm going to push and hold a button on the controller, it doesn't matter which one really. A USB gamepad. Now it wants to know what obviously the D-pad up, down, left, and right. So I'm gonna go up, down, left, right. Obviously, you got your select and your start. So I'm gonna hit start and then select. And then this one's labeled exactly the way I like it. A B X, Y. And then for your left shoulder, obviously, is this left button back here. And your right shoulder is right here. Now, here's where you get to a problem. I don't have a left trigger. I don't have a right trigger. What do I do? Well, all you do is you hold two buttons at the same time and not defined. Do it again. Not defined. You hold two buttons at the same time until it says not defined on the screen and it will not have a, uh, a key for that one. You just won't have it. And honestly, you don't really use the left and the right trigger that often anyway, so this controller is pretty much perfect. And we're going to end up with the same issue because we don't have uh, left or right analogs or thumb buttons. So you just push two buttons at the same time, not defined. Two buttons at the same time, not defined. Two buttons at the same time, not defined. Keep going, rinse and repeat until you're done with all the left analog and right analog business. And that's it. And you can see there where it says hold any button to skip. I've never found the any button. That's just a joke. I'm sorry. That's a really cheesy joke. But you just that's all you have to do to get out of having to uh configure anything on there. Now, going back to that, if you hit your start button, you can configure your input, hit your A button, it'll detect it again. So let's just say I make the up button 
the up button, the down button, the down button, but I accidentally hit right for left and then left for right. That's going to screw me all up in the game. So I'm going to configure all my other keys like I would. Pressing, and you can just press one button and it'll also not define anything. Just press and hold it. Don't tap it, just press and hold it. See, that's what happens when you don't press and hold it like you're supposed to. It says already taken. So now it's all screwed up. Not defined. So we know we screwed up. So you just go up. Back up, 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 up. To where it says D-pad left. And for that, you want to push two buttons at the same time. It's going to say already taken. We want to get this to a point where it says not defined. and it's being stubborn today but normally what you would do is you would just go ahead and press two buttons and why it's being so stubborn today I do not know So I'm pushing one button, it says press anything, but it's saying already taken. So I'm going to hold another button. Let's try this one more time. The buttons on this must be super sensitive. But normally you'd press down buttons and it would just go ahead and uh, let you change it to whatever you want to change it to. So we're just going to exit out because it goobed. So let's configure the input the right way. With up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder. Press the button and hold it, not define, 
Not defined. Not defined. Keep doing this, pressing the button and holding it. And you can just press one button. Okay. So we're done with that. Let it do its thing. Think about it. Think about everything it's done. So since we got a Super Nintendo controller. Let's go ahead and play a Super Nintendo game. That sounds like a good idea. Let's play... Street Fighter 2. And right there, you can press any button to custom configure your game, but we're not going to do that. That's, that's just too deep for this. I'll be my favorite character, Ryu, whatever. You can say what you want about that. And I'm probably going to get smacked around pretty good. Oh, he ate that. And I ate that. I'm not very good with these controllers. And there's me getting my butt kicked on my video. And to exit out, you just hit start and select at the same time. And that's it. That concludes this video. That's how you configure controllers that don't have all the buttons that something like this would where it's got all your triggers on the top it's got all your axis your uh, analog joysticks this thing has a button for everything that is offered and this one does not so you have to pretty much like I showed just null some buttons and that concludes this video, and uh, hope you have fun playing, and thanks for your support.